is Captain Chaudhary. Under the main title of uh, navigational skills, we are trying to learn a few tricks here and there. And uh, there are a lot of things which would be very helpful when we are dealing with a search and rescue situation. Like say for example, uh, we will take this case where uh, you are the ship assisting an on-scene coordinator and uh, probably you are directed to do directed to reach a particular point so how do we go about it let us say uh, this is the on scene commander which is following a course of 000 and maybe 12 knots now our present position is a 3 miles off on the port quarter and we are following the same course at 12 knots. Now you are directed to uh, reach a position which is 2 miles a beam on the starboard side say this way say 1 mile 2 mile you are supposed to reach here. So this particular line you have to make good. You have to make good this particular course and you have to make good this particular distance which means your speed should be more than the on-scene coordinator speed for doing this particular maneuver. You are supposed to reach here. Now how do we tackle such a situation? Now in a chart work what we do is suppose from this position we need to reach this position the course to make good is one of the first lines that we draw and if there is a current say for example in this case setting south we put the current in the beginning and from this point what we do is we cut an arc of distance over water so this is distance over water and course to steer this becomes your course and distance made good right this distance is traveled in one hour what time we will reach here can be found out at the rate of speed made good this is what we do in the chart work so uh, summarizing the question the on scene coordinators uh, course is 000 and speed is 12 knots my position is three miles on the port quarter of the on scene coordinator i need to reach two miles on the starboard beam of the on scene coordinator own maneuver speed can be 14 knots otherwise i was going at 12 knots along with the on scene coordinator like here is the on scene commander here is my position now the speed of on scene commander is coming my way actually it is adverse for me if the on scene commander was not moving i would have simply headed for this position the course steered would be the course made good and i would have simply reached here but now the problem is the on scene coordinator is uh, going ahead at 12 knots going 0, 0, 0 at 12 knots so reverse of the on scene coordinator's uh, speed can be put as the current that we are facing as if the speed is working against us so it can be considered as the current philosophically uh, you, you know which is acting against us so the speed of on scene commander can be written as the current in opposite direction and from the end of current I'll put an arc of 14 miles which is my uh, maneuver speed if I do that then this becomes the course to steer and I think if you see the course to steer it might be 0, 1, 2 degrees the course to steer now if 0, 1, 2 degrees is course to steer at 14 knots I reach this point of the CMG line so this becomes a proper course steered course made good triangle something like this this means that i will cover this distance in one hour so if i cover 3.4 miles in one hour we can calculate how much we will how much time we will take to cover this distance 4.6 all the etas must be found out at the rate of speed made good and uh, if you do this calculation 4.6 into 60 upon 3.4 you'll get something like 81 minutes that means in 81 minutes i will reach here so mind you uh, the coordinator is here you are here 
and you are going to steer this course. You are going to steer this course. Apparently, uh, you might hit the on-scene coordinator, but it does not happen. You will have the safe clearance from the on-scene coordinator. Like instead of going this way, what you would be doing is if you are heading 0, 1, 2 and steaming at 14 knots, you will actually make good this line and reach over here. So that means on a course of 0, 1, 2, steaming at 14 knots, I will reach this point after 81 minutes. In a similar exercise, suppose this is on scene commander and my position is 2 miles from on scene commander is moving at 8 knots and I am directed to reach say 3 miles aft of the on scene coordinator. So this becomes the course to make good. The speed of the vessel. The speed of the vessel will be like reverse current the current in a direction opposite to the speed so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So this is like a current that I would be facing. This is course to make good and in a similar situation in the chart work if this is the course to make good and this is the current from the end of current I am supposed to put own speed. Like in this particular case I may be asked to do this at 8 knots itself because I don't have to overtake the vessel. So what I do is from the end of current I put an arc of 8 miles I put an arc of 8 miles that meets course mid good line over here. This means that I will have to from uh, this position to reach this position that means this is my final position this is where I am I will have to steer a course uh, to uh, 6 5 or something like that so if I steer a course of 265 from here actually I will finally reach here now the thing is if this much is the distance traveled in one hour because this is a one hour triangle this being 8 miles this being 8 miles this is one hour triangle right if this is the distance made good right then this much distance will be made good in about one third of an hour so maybe uh, in about 19 or 20 minutes I will reach this position so this is how these kind of exercises can be done if you are assisting an on-scene coordinator in search and rescue situations so all we have to do is we have to assume that the uh, speed of on-scene coordinator the reverse of it should be used like current and normal course steered course made good triangle can be made